I did exactly what I said I would do tonight. I showed you Christopher Daniels. There's just not that much gas left in your tank, my friend. You came in here talking about being the best in the world. Davy Richards is the measuring stick. And you found out tonight, I'm the measuring stick. This is Roderick Yvonne or Christopher Daniels. This is a whole different company. And tonight, I showed you why only the strong survive. Now Davy Richards' final battle. Everyone's excited you're not leaving. Everyone's excited but me. Because Davy, I hate you. You are probably the most annoying person on this planet. And come final battle, you're not choosing to retire. I'm gonna make you retire. And that, that my friends, is the mother truth. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Why were you up there? Why'd he grab you? <laughs> it's funny all the emotions that go through you and yeah, there's no words to really say. Um, I've always been a person who's worn my heart on my sleeve. Whether you love me or you hate me, it's easy to know where I stand. You know, I'm easy to let you know that. <clears throat> this year has almost been a year-long trial series for me, personally. It's been a year of trial and tribulation, change, lows, and ascension. <laughs> but that will culminate. You see, you say, final battle. Battle. This whole year has been a battle. And that ringing out of it. I was gonna quit wrestling, I was done. Well, I, I have an education. I have a job, why do this anymore? I put my body through this every night. People chant at me, you're your best in the world. Best in the world. But I go home, and there's no one waiting for me now. It's just me. But there was one thing that remained. You see, I used to have family members to go home to. They're dead. I used to have a farm to go home to where I grew up. It's gone. I had a wife. Gone. One thing remained. Since I was 10 years old, one thing. Get up in the morning. walked away from it. But I almost gave it up. <laughs> but then I realized something, or better yet, my mother made me realize something. Long ago, this chose me. I was born to wrestle. I was put on this earth to wrestle. That is my destiny. And if I'm going to wrestle, I'm going to uphold my family's creed and work harder than anybody be the best. Because if I'm not the best, then why am I here? If my goal is not to be the best, to beat the best, why am I here? <laughs> that is my journey. That is what makes me Davy Richards. That is what I hunt. Roderick Strong, <laughs> you are in my crosshairs. You are the prey. You stand between me and destiny. You come on TV and you say I will fail everyone, including my dead grandfather. Let me tell you about my dead grandfather. Let me tell you about what it means to be a Richards. What it means to life to kick you in the ribs while you're down, beat you down, lose everything, and you stand up and say, come on, more. Because I'm not broken. I'm not done. You talk about my dead grandfather. Please talk about dear grandfather because all you're gonna do is piss me off and they come <laughs> none more dangerous than I when I'm pissed off Roderick Shaw I'm about to say something it's probably gonna get me in trouble I'm probably gonna piss you off that's the way I play the game you want to talk about my dead grandfather well I'm gonna expose you son you play a wrestler Roderick you pretend to be a wrestler you hope someone will believe you a wrestler son I am a wrestler. 
Since I was 10 years old, my grandparents driving me out to tournaments, I have been a wrestler. When I packed everything I had, went to Atlanta, even though my grandpa just got diagnosed with cancer, took everything I had, sold it, moved to Atlanta. When I used to drive six hours to Tony Kazina's house, when I used to drive 25 hours to LA, when I went live on the floor in LA, went and lived in Japan, my grandmother dies, come home for the funeral, go back to Japan, I have been a wrestler. And yet you tell me I will fail. Well, let me tell you something, Roderick. You want to talk about failure. How's it gonna feel when you tap out to me in final battle, when you tap out to a failure? How's it gonna feel when you look across the ring at truth and you realize the whole thing is bullshit? You've been led astray. You have your words, your truth. That's good. You're gonna need all your words. You're gonna need all that propaganda. Because when I hit the ring at final battle, reality is coming crashing down on you. And you will have no more excuse. You will have no more propaganda. There'll be no one there to pick up the pieces for you and say, oh, well, if you would have done this, this would have happened. If you would have done this, it's someone else's fault. Everyone's against you. No, this failure just made you tap out. This failure took your belt. This failure fulfilled his destiny and it's the top of the food chain where he belongs. Roderick Strong, my time is now. See you at final battle. I'm a realist. In wrestling, that's what you have to be. You have to realize that things can come and go just like that I didn't expect to be the first and only Ring of Honor television champion in history, even though I did everything I could to keep that belt. Christopher Daniels, tonight you are the better man, and you are the second, the second Ring of Honor television champion in history. But like the saying goes, when one door closes, another one opens. Me and Davey, the American Wolves, one last hunt, Plymouth, Mass, right outside of my hometown in Boston against the kings of wrestling and that scumbag Shane Hagedorn. You come into my town, you mess with the wolves, you mess with me and Davey, you're gonna get hurt and in Plymouth. We're gonna go out on top just like the American wolves should. The hunt is on. The gospel, according to the fallen angel, says that he's taken his first step towards achieving his goals, and that's holding the World Television Championship. But now the next step comes at final battle, and it's up against you, Homicide. And while this championship won't be on the line in New York City, what will be on the line, well, let's be honest, you and I both want what's around Roderick Strong's waist, correct? So at final battle, it's you and I, and whoever wins that match will be in line for Roderick Strong. And if you think I'm gonna lay down, if you think I'm gonna let you walk into your home arena, New York City, and beat me, you really are loco in the Cabeza homicide. I'll see you in New York, my friend. Oh, Olale, mira esto, Holmes! El campeón de todos los shows! You are the television champion, Mr. Daniels. But hey, it's not about your priceless metal object. It's about one thing. It's final battle. Me and you, the two legends of this great company. And we do got little history, loco. We do got much history. But I got a gospel for you. This is not the city of angels. You are coming to the Hell's Kitchen of New York. December 18th is going to be a final battle for the fallen angel. And my gospel say that this demon is going to be the fallen angel. So I see you December 18th, Captain Brat. See you in New 
New York homicide. And at the end of the night, we will finally be free of your stupid family. And we will move on and continue to set their legacy as the greatest tag team in the history of Ring of Honor and professional wrestling. You brought this on yourself, old man Briscoe. Final battle, Hagedorn reign supreme. <laughs> How you guys doing? Cole Cabana here. We're just finishing up uh, an unbelievable set of TV tapings in Louisville, Kentucky, the Davis Arena. And uh, you guys have asked me to kind of talk a little bit about what's on my mind, where I'm going forward with my career, and the way I see my future as a professional wrestler. Next week, uh, to me, I don't know when this is airing or when we're putting this up, uh, the biggest match of both El Generico and Kevin Steen's career. And uh, a war that I have been a part of, and I couldn't have been happier to be a part of, and a friendship and uh, to, see a, to see friendships separate. And finally, finally final, at the final battle, we're gonna see where that goes. Uh, but that's in the past. I can only do so much for you, El Generico. I can only put so much on the line for you. Uh, now it's your time, man. You gotta be a man. You gotta, you know, as the Briscoe brothers say, you gotta man up. Here's the ball, take it. I know you can, I believe in you. I believe in you so much. We're always going to be best friends, man. I'm always going to believe in your career. And I know no matter what happens, you're going to be a better man for this. But next week, I, I have to do something for myself. It's time, time to be unselfish in selfish times. It's time to move forward with my career. It's time to go ahead. What I am is a professional wrestler. Uh, you know, this is, my, this is my shirt. I work in this shirt. I come to work. I'm a pro wrestler. I don't, I don't claim to be anything more, anything greater. Uh, this, I am what I am. You know, a wise man once said that. His name was Popeye. Uh, I'm a big fan. And uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts, Mike Bennett, and the big show final battle, TJ Perkins. Uh, both guys, uh, you know, this ain't their first dance, but, you know, they haven't been around. Listen, I've been in this company since 2002. I've been making waves ever since. I've, I've, I've grown up as a professional wrestler. I've learned to be a professional wrestler in Ring of Honor. I really have. And it's time to show that. It's time to show why I've gone over and I've done tours in Mexico, why I've toured Australia, why I've toured Europe, why I've toured all over the world, why I've went off and tried to become a better wrestler because this is my job. Mike Bennett in Plymouth, Massachusetts, you know, you got to prove yourself. You know, look at you, man. You're the prodigy, right? I love it. You got a great body, you know. I was in a system once that would, would have loved to have you as a wrestler. They would have looked at your photo and said, you would be the perfect wrestler for our company. That ain't that company, man. Look at me, man. I'm no, look at this. I'm no prodigy. <laughs> but I am a wrestler. I proved it time and time again. So you're going to have to prove yourself to me. TJ Perkins, we all know your credentials, the way you can wrestle. I look forward. I so look forward to having a one-on-one -on -one straight competition with you. Fans, I'll see you on the 17th and 18th. That's it. That's I'm speaking my piece. I look forward to breaking new ground in the world of professional wrestling, doing what I do, doing what I love to do, having fun. Having fun, once again, in professional wrestling. No more barbed wire, no more chairs, no more nothing. I'm going to have fun. Smile on my face, catch catch can, hold for hold, Greco-Roman, you name it. I'm ready to rock. Steen. New York. Toro es finale. Tu eres finale.